I'm going to start by showing you how to make the relish. So pop a frying pan onto the hob, turn the heat up high and add a splash of olive oil. And the first thing we're going to need is some lovely cherry tomatoes. So chuck in a handful of cherry tomatoes and the first step is to get them nice and blistered and roasted off. So fry off your tomatoes and we want to get them to the point where they're just starting to break down a little bit. So stir them through, give them a toss in the pan and when they're just starting to break down, get in there with a masher and break up the cherry tomatoes. Once you've mashed them up, stir them through and cook them out for another few minutes. Add a little splash of water because we really want to cook them out for a little while and get them really nice, reduced, sticky, thick and delicious. And then we're going to need some pickled jalapenos. Throw a handful of jalapenos onto a chopping board and just simply dice those up fairly fine but quite coarse. Once you've diced up your jalapenos, throw those into the pan with the tomato, give it all a really good stir through and cook that out for another few minutes, reducing the tomatoes down as you go. And then we want to season with a nice pinch of sea salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Stir through a bit longer and then we need some smoked paprika. Go in with a couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika, another good stir and then we need some tomato paste. Chuck in a heaped teaspoon of your tomato paste and you need to be sure to cook this out for a couple of minutes. So stir the tomato paste through and cook that out for a couple of minutes and then we need some Worcestershire sauce. Shake up your Worcestershire sauce and add a couple of tablespoons to the pan. Reduce this and cook it out for another few minutes and now the chutney is ready. So spoon the chutney into a bowl and then when your chutney's in a bowl just pop it to one side while we get on with the burger. So we're going to need some beef mince at least 18% fat. Mash it up in a bowl and bring it together but don't be too rough with it. We don't want to compress it too much and then take a sheet of greaseproof paper and add a small handful of your beef mince to the paper and we want these beef patties to be about half an inch thick so shape them using the paper spend a few minutes doing this and when you've got a nice half inch thick beef patty we're ready to go so pop a frying pan onto the heat turn it to medium to begin with because the first thing we're going to want to do is toast off our brioche burger buns add about half a tablespoon of butter pop your brioche buns into the butter once it's foaming and these will take a couple of minutes to toast off so press them down a tiny bit with your hands to get an even crust on the inside of the buns check them after a couple of minutes and when they're beautiful golden brown and toasty just take those out of the pan, pop them onto the side while we cook off our patty. Turn the heat up to high, add another tablespoon or so of butter and then lay in your beef patty. Season the patty with sea salt and black pepper and after a minute or so flip the patty and we're going to sear off the other side. Give it another minute on the other side and then flip it once again and at this point you just want to turn on your grill and pop it up to high and then take some extra mature cheddar cheese and we just want to grill grate a small handful into a bowl. Pop a handful of your cheddar cheese onto your burger patty and once you've done this you just want to pop it under a grill for about two minutes until the cheese has beautifully melted. And the next step is to pop the base of the burger bun on a plate, pop on your burger patty and then spoon over some of your delicious spicy tomato and jalapeno chutney. Pop the lid on your burger and there we have a spicy, smoky, sweet and delicious chutney burger. 